I'll briefly explain how a wireless man in the middle attack works. So you have your employee here uh, who's using their corporate owned laptop. And this corporate owned laptop is going to try to attempt to connect to your corporate AP. And this is a connection that's been set up by IT. Uh, this trust relationship already exists between the laptop and the access point, such that the laptop is going to try to reach out and talk to this AP. When that request is made, our malicious pineapple here is going to step in between and respond. So say we have a corporate owned laptop that is attempting to connect to a corporate access point. Your IT department will have already set up the, uh, the trusted nature of the relationship between the laptop and the corporate AP, such that when the laptop comes online, it's going to call out and try to connect to this previously known network. So it will send out a probe request looking for this AP, and if this AP sees it, it will respond and they'll set up a connection. Now say we have a malicious pineapple in the picture as well. The pineapple is a clever device. When the pineapple sees the request go out looking for this trusted AP, the pineapple is going to step in the middle here and respond instead. So instead we have the pineapple responding rather than the AP. So the client is essentially going to route all of its connections through the pineapple. And the pineapple will be able to man in the middle all the traffic flowing to and from the client. To learn more, please visit Bastille.net, where you can register for a Bastille demo, request a Bastille wireless vulnerability threat assessment, and learn how customers are using Bastille to provide situational awareness for RF threat vectors. With Bastille, you'll be surprised with what you might find.